Another story that has surfaced during this offseason, and frankly, I think it's kind of flown under the radar. It's the status of Jonathan Drouin. Uh, the Canadians say they expect him back with the team come training camp. And, you know, I, I know I put out a tweet on Twitter saying, hey, he could be on this line combination. He could be on this line combination. But frankly, I mean, I don't know what Jonathan Drouin, the Canadians, are going to get back. Uh, what, what, was, what was your takeaway from Mark Bergman saying that he expected Jonathan Drouin to be back with the team? Well, I think that uh, Bergevin has had a really good conversation with Drouin, basically saying, listen, uh, I will try and accommodate you uh, if you really want to get moved. The only way that that's going to work is you have to come back to training camp. You have to perform. And, uh, you know, it's, it's obviously much easier to trade a guy or make a deal for a guy when he's actively playing. So I think that uh, there's been some – discussions. I don't believe that Jonathan Drouin wants to continue to play in Montreal. I don't know what his personal issues uh, were or are, and uh, hopefully he's in a better state of mind and health so that, uh, you know, he can carry on with his life. But I think his his time in Montreal is really uh, going to be coming to an end. But I think that uh, in order for them to, you know, allow uh, a deal to be made. Jonathan has to come back. He has to show up. He has to play the best he can play. And, uh, you know, I think Bergevin will try and accommodate him uh, to get him to another location. And I think it's a positive that Jonathan Drouin uh, has told the Montreal Canadiens that he is ready to come back and play hockey after taking some time away from it. And if Montreal is not the right fit, as Rick said, that then they have to figure out a way to move him and, and get the best possible return for him because I think everyone remembers that he uh, traded Sergeyev for him. Uh, but it'll be you know interesting to see where does Jonathan Drouin uh, ideally want to be playing hockey again? Is it is he ready to move on from the Montreal Canadiens? And if that's the case, we'll see what happens. Or is he you know wanting to see uh, how he can grow as a as a hockey player and, and extend his career here in Montreal? Uh, but it's going to be interesting to see this fall when he shows up for training camp. My first reaction was I was just really happy to know that Jonathan Drouin is doing better. Um, you know, on a personal stamp, I like Jonathan Drouin. I think he's a really nice kid dealing with him you know, on a daily basis back when we were allowed in the rooms. When he first came to the Canadians, I had a chance to sit down and have a coffee with him and just chat, and, and he's a nice kid. I mean, he came here. He was, he, I think he underestimated the pressure of being a Francophone player playing in this uh, environment. He was looking forward to the challenge at the time. Uh, it certainly seems like it became too much for him. We don't know for certain what all the details were. Uh, I'm happy he's back. I don't think it'll be any easier for him going forward if he does stay in Montreal. Uh, whatever issues he was dealing with, hopefully he's, he can put those behind him. And if he is here, he's able to move on and become the player that Mark Bergevin and, and so many other people and fans hoped he could become here. Uh, if he does come back here and if he does play, you were talking about lines a little earlier, Julian. I mean, you think of Suzuki, Caulfield, and Drouin as a line. You know, that, that'd be very interesting. And, and uh, again, I just, I'm happy to hear that Jonathan Joy is doing better. If he ends up playing again in Montreal or wherever, or decides not to play, but it certainly seems from what Mark Bergen said that he wants to play again. Uh, I wish Jonathan Joy nothing but the best moving forward. Uh, it won't be easy for him after what he's gone through, uh, but <clears throat> excuse me, hopefully he's got his life back together and maybe that'll carry over onto the ice and he'll be able to become the player that uh, people have hoped that he would be. The one thing I'm just kind of worried about here is that, like, he was away from the team for so long and he wasn't playing, but he says he wants to play. And when it comes time for him to, you know, get back with the team for training camp and, you know, those line combinations we we're just discussing, he puts him on, put him on second line or first line or whatever, whatever they end up doing. Probably a second line or a third line. You don't want to necessarily put him on the first line. That probably sends a really weird message. I just hope that the expectations, finally for Jonathan Drouet will be considerably lowered. We've discussed on the show, it's been discussed at nauseum through different mediums in this city about Jonathan Drouet and his stats and his output. But in this situation, if we're at a point where he comes back after what he has gone through and people are still going to dump on him for that, like, I don't like, geez, then this market like is, is a bit of a nuts one as far as I'm concerned. And I'm, and I get it. Like I've, I've been a bit pro Jonathan Drouin on this show. Uh, I'm not blind to the fact that, you know, there are statistically, there's a little bit more to be desired, but even if we don't completely know why he took a leave from this team, 
um, I would hope that Canadians fans kind of show him that respect. You know, the fact that he took the time to deal with whatever he needed to deal with and still wanted to come back to this team and give him a bit of a grace period. And I hope the Canadians are able to afford him that as well because it, it doesn't, I don't think it's an easy thing to be away from the team as long as you have. And then all of a sudden, plop, you want to come back to the team. Even if it is at the start of the season, it's not an easy thing to do. So I would hope that if he is in it for the long haul for the Montreal Canadiens, uh, that people kind of ease up on him. Or, hey, maybe people will just be crap about it and they just won't. Because who knows, right? You know, as we, anyway, not to end on that note, but we all know how people can get in the city with their players and we know how people can get with this team. So it is entirely possible that people won't even give him that respect to begin with. Anyway, um, let us know in the comment section with Jonathan Drew and how you feel about him returning to the franchise. If it will actually happen during training camp, uh, you can also let us know where you think he'll line up. Then again, with the way free agency could go, this team could look radically different in the coming days and weeks. Visit HockeyInsideOut.com to check out our full episode. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Trying to see if we can get a few more subscribers. Give us some more love to our YouTube channel.